Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakafadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule and teach well, and their brothers that's pushing his truth and the hope for Lake Shalom. Now, this is going to be a quick touch up on the Kanye West and Kyrie Irving controversy of them bringing out the truth that um, so called blacks are the real Jews. But that's just um, the surface of the truth. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and of course, the speckled bird, the Israelites that were scattered throughout the, the nations, make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You see those um, Israelis, they, um, they only say that they're the southern kingdom of Israel, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But there's, there's 12 tribes. You understand you've got the northern kingdom, which makes up so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, which are nine tribes of Israel. And then you have the southern kingdom, which are so-called blacks, and they make up Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the southern kingdom. Now, the Israelis, clearly, they don't fit prophecy according to these scriptures as being the Israelites, but, of, of course, being the Edomites. And now, obviously, Kanye West and Kyrie Irving have been called the Israelis or so-called white people in general, not just specifically Israelis, they're Amalek, which is the head tribe of the Edomites, like Judah is the head tribe of the Israelites. And um, they're just saying that the so-called blacks are the Israelites or, or, or the real Jews, so to speak, which is, which is the truth, but it's not the whole truth. And... This truth is getting out there. This is just to the brothers, sisters that really are on the highest level of game. We see that this is just leading up to the famine of the word and that that all out chaos and the demonization of the truth. So I'm going to just dive into Matthew 24 and 14 and this gospel of the kingdom and, and this gospel of the kingdom is that so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are the Israelites. And the Israelites are the only ones that will receive the second covenant, which is salvation, which leads to immortality, no more sinning, having the same body as Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, the immortal body. Um, like uh, like you see in these comic books, you know, he can't die, indestructible, can fly, you understand? A body that can go into the heavens, a body that can be face to face with Yahweh, who the world only calls uh, God or Jehovah, that type of body. That's, that's a part of the gospel. The kingdom of heaven is only for the Israelites. This is Matthew 24 and 14. In this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now, Christianity will say um, this means that uh, all heathens, like literal heathens, like actual Edomites, well, they say the Edomites are done away with, um, which according to the scripture, the Edomites are still here, but they'll say um, Moabites, Hamites, Japhites, Japhetic people, right, so on and so forth, will um can re receive salvation if they believe in Jesus Christ, which is a leprous God is um is sin because having pale skin is um leprosy, which is sin according to was it Numbers the ninth chapter where Miriam was struck with leprosy from the Most High. That's a cut right there. I mean the whole scriptures. Every single, you know, book in the Bible is a cut to Christianity for the most part. They have some truth in there, um, some truth, but uh, you can only have, there's only one truth, you understand? Just, you can't have 99.9% um, truth and 0.1% uh, lies. It has to be 100%. So when you go into these scriptures, let's go into Acts chapter 2 real quick, because I don't want to go too too far to that, because I got... um. Plenty and plenty and plenty of videos going into um, this gospel. But this is Acts chapter 2, you know, straight to the point. Acts chapter 2, verse 5. And there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. And then you scroll down to verse, verse 8. And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia, etc., etc. So 
the Israelites were being literally being called by uh by these other uh nations because that's where they grew up in. That's why the gospel had to be uh, preached to all the nations. Uh, another quick hit on that, and one more. This is Romans nine and four. Who are the Israelites to whom pertains the adoption? So when you hear about the Gentiles and you go into the word Gentile in the Greek, it means ethnos, which just means ethnicity of people. Now Christianity, they like to they twist things they to forward their narrative because it was pushed and forwarded by the Edomites, so called white people, and their whole entire agenda is to um spread lies and um love only because they are hated. Uh for Romans nine and thirteen, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the most high hates and like uh with Kyrie and Kanye West, they say they're saying the anti ism, the anti ism, right? Is uh hate and something else. They don't say it's false, they just say it's hate and something else, which it is hate. We hate you, goddamn devil. You goddamn devil, man. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Uh, let's keep reading Romans nine and four. Who are the who are Israelites to whom pertains the adoption? So, being adopted is um the adoption where it, again the um the Gentiles, which were Gentiles scattered among the Gentiles. What is that? John seven and thirty five. Let me stay on here. I think it's John seven and thirty something where it talks about the Gentiles being scattered among the Gentiles, which is talking about the Israelites. That wasn't keeping the law, statutes, commandments, and didn't know anything about you. How shy, um, being a um among the other heathens, like I just read in Acts chapter uh Acts chapter uh, two. Now this is John seven. I know it's around the thirtieth verse, thirtieth something. All right, perfect. John seven thirty five. Then said the Jews among themselves, Where the, will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go into the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So the dispersed among the Gentiles to teach the Gentiles. So that's two different Gentiles being spoken of right here. And that's talking about um, the Israelites being uh, dispersed among the, the heathen, the actual Gentiles. Not actual Gentiles, but what Christianity likes to forward, the um. Like actual non-Israelites, just to summarize it. Now let's go into those words, Gentile and uh, dispersed, real quick. Go to the Strong's, and then you, let's go to dispersed. And when you go to the word dispersed, it's diaspora, and it means a scattering, dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. And that's what John seven to thirty-five is going to of the Christians, which is just the Israelites scattered abroad among the Gentiles. So, um. Uh, dispersion, Israelite resident in Gentile countries. So it this verse is literally talking about the Israelite. This is calling Israelites Gentiles. Um, John seven thirty five, and then when you go to the word Gentiles, all it, it means uh, this here here is saying Helen. All right, so Lockheed, this is saying Helen. So Helen is um anybody that's not an actual Edomite Greek. But um, follows the customs and the language of the Greeks. But here, 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 it is um. I know I said here that much, but uh, it's saying uh in a wider sense the name embraces all nations, not Jews. That's a lie. The Israelites were dwelling among the Greeks. You understand? That made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. Um, that's uh this is a lie because the Israelites were Hellenized. By the Greeks. Let's go. I, I think I clicked that one. Didn't I? No. But there's another one. Called Ethnos. This is both Helen. So um. This is talking about the uh. Not specifically the Israelites. Helen. Just means. Anybody. That is um. That follows the culture of the Greeks. But specifically in this verse where it talks about the scattering. The dispersed among the Gentiles is the Israelites. Let's get um, James 1 and 1. It's James 1 and 1. 
James, a servant of the Most High, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Uh, so like it, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which Yahweh Shai is a true proper way of saying Jesus, and Hamashiach is a true proper way of saying Christ. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, reading, now you go to the Strongs for scattered, same thing as a diaspora, right? Diaspora, you understand? So that's, um, that's a cut to you Christians. Now let's get another one where the Israelites were being called Grecians. I think it's an act, somewhere in Acts. Acts, uh, which one? Is it? Acts 6, 9, or 11. It's Acts it's chapter 6, verse 1. And in these days where the number of the disciples multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians among, against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the day of ministration. You go to the Strongs for that word Grecians right there. Helen, Helen, and it stays. Helen, Helen, it stays. Helen is one who initiates the matters and customs of the worship of the Greeks and use the Greek tongue, using New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands and speaking Greek. So, um, the Israelites, now this one is going into the Israelites being Hellenized. And this is pretty much the same thing as the other one we read in John 7 35. It literally is the same thing. Because again, the scriptures is only for the Israelites. Like the scripture says, this these words is only for the Israelites. Um, let's get it. This is uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. And the Most High hasn't changed. He's still, uh, this is Malachi 3 and 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So he's only for the Israelites. And the word is Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai was only for the Israelites, like he said. Yahweh Shai even said he was only for the Israelites. And I'm, I'm finna cut up. I'm finna uh, start slicing a little bit. Uh, John, well, this is already a slice right here, but I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. John 1 and 14, and the word was made flesh. So the word's only for Jacob, right? And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Yahweh Shai was on, is only for the Israelites. Um, like he said, Matthew 10 and 6, uh, Matthew 10 and 5, these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And um, that's literally talking about the heathen, not the Israelites that were scattered among the heathen. And into any city of the Samaritans enter you not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach the gospel, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now let's go into the Strong's for that word Gentile right there. And it's ethnos, which just means ethnicity of people. A multitude associated or living together, a company, troop, a swarm, all right, a human family, a tribe, nation, people, group in the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping in true power, pagans, Gentiles. Paul used uses the term for Gentile Christians, the Israelites, Gentile heathen nation people. Now here I'll say uh, Jewish. Um, there's no such thing as a well. There is such thing as a Jewish, but so-called Jewish is um the Israelites are not a Jewish. There are uh, Israelites in the northern king southern kingdom were being reverenced to being Jews, but Jewish is in the scriptures uh, spoken about in the scriptures here. Titus one and fourteen, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men, turn from that turn from the truth. Now you go to the Strong's for that word right there for uh, Jewish. It, uh, let's go into the meaning of it. And it means resembling a Judean. Not being a Judean, but resembling because the Israelites are you so-called blacks. I mean, the so-called Jews are the so-called blacks from uh, African Americans, so-called African Americans, so-called Haitians, so-called Jamaicans. They make up the Southern Kingdom, which were being... Uh, reverence to Jews, which just goes back to Judah. Now, let's go back. 
where were we at? Malachi, Matthew 10. So Yahweh Shai said he's only, only go to the La Sheba house of Israel. So, you know, Christianity will say, oh no, he's for all nations. So he changed his mind? So you're saying, I mean, what kind of God are you following that changed his mind? Doesn't the scriptures, what does the scripture say about having a double mind? See if I can find it. No, I think it's in James. Alright, James 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you're saying uh, Jesus Christ, right? That's what they, they believe in. They're, they're false God. They're saying that uh, Jesus Christ is double-minded. and double Being double-minded is a sin. So they're saying he, he sinned. Let's, let me see. Uh... Where it says being double minded is the same. I think it's here in James 4 and 8. All right, James 4 and 8. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hearts, your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. So being double minded is, is sin. So you're saying Yahweh Shai was um, sinning? You understand? These scriptures do not contradict themselves. You understand? And Kanye West and Kyrie are speaking bits of truth, which is going to open the doors to people to hear the full truth. You know, you know, someone may may not even know too much about the Israelites. They see Kanye say something and. They see uh, Kanye get demonized. And what is that saying where it's like, you know who's empowered by the ones you can't criticize? You know, that quote, I've been seeing that quote float around a lot. Like, brothers been saying this, but now you're seeing a lot of people saying it. You know, people that's not really on game saying it, you know? So, you, you Esau is being made bare. Let's get that. Jeremiah 49 and 10, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he, he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. So Esau, you Edomites, are being made bare. This truth is coming out. Let's get that. Second Ezra six and twenty eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And we're declaring that truth now, and it's being uh, widespread now. Esau, Esau is probably panicking right now. Esau is uh, probably getting ready to cut off the internet, getting ready to censor the internet on another level. You understand? Because he wants to keep forwarding his uh, wicked agenda. But it's um he's gonna come after the the people that's pushing his truth for sure. He's gonna come after people like me, people tuning in, channels I tune into, they gonna come after us and try to kill us and he's gonna kill some of us, man. He's gonna have mortars, martyrs, martyrdom. And some of us are just gonna make it through and conquer. Some of us are just gonna make it through and you know, maybe be chilling. Someone's gonna make it through uh, by the skin of our teeth. Was it the righteous shall scarcely be saved? Let's get that. First Peter four and eighteen. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So some of the righteous will scarcely be saved. And it's going into an if, right? The righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So you Edomites, you see all, everything that's going to keep happening, you Edomites, you heathens, and you two-thirds, specifically you Edomites, are going to get get it the worst. And and, and Jake, Jake going to get it too, but Jake, the reason why Jake won't really get it the worst 
is one third will make it through. You Edomites and you heathen, specifically you Edomites, are going to get it worse than anybody else. Because none of y'all going to 100% make it through. Only ones that will have some type of luxury for a short while is you, you elites that have your, your bunkers and your private islands and all this other, you know, hideouts from this, this chaos that's coming on the planet Earth. But you're going to get, you're, the reason why you're going to, the Most High is going to allow you to be in comfort during this chaos is because you're going to be the um, first fruits of slavery. The Israelites, we're going to pop up. Ottawan Ratzal, I'm part of that, you know, the elect. They're going to pop up on you. You understand? And take you, snatch you, snatch you out of them, them bunkers. And you're going straight into some chains. And the rest of you, you heathens that are uh, still somehow, you know, kicking it on planet Earth that made it through that, that hell that's going to come. But here's another scripture going into Kanye and Kyrie. How does it go? Where the, when, the, when the rich man speaketh. Everybody like tune in, just roughly paraphrasing, but with the poor speaketh, nobody, you know, pay attention. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, Ecclesiastic is 13 and 23. Uh, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith, that exult, extol. It to the clouds, but if the poor man speak it, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. So, if you don't have some type of power, because being rich it just goes into power. You don't have some type of power, that pe some t a tangible power, people are not going to take you seriously. You, you, we all have seen and witnessed these type of things, and we probably all were a part of it or fell victim to it. You know, it's a very small number of people that's actually tuning into this truth and, and pushing it and living it, you know. And then, but Kanye West, you know, millions and millions of people have seen what Kanye and Kyrie have said. And they tune in like, oh, oh, man, they haven't, I think it was L.A. or something, where, the, you know, Edomites and look like none but straight Edomites, but nonetheless, they was like, I don't know if it was like a rally or I don't know. It was just people that had like signs saying Kanye is right and uh, what was it like a Holocaust museum or something that's getting a lot of anti sim threats and all this madness, man. Not madness, but but truth. You you devils are supposed to be hated. It, hate is not a bad thing. Hate is is a good thing. Uh, let's go into the scriptures. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Are we in love and peace? Hell no. We're in a time of hate and war, man. And this war is about to turn up. It's about to turn up, and this hate is about to turn up too, with us and um Esau, man. Cause Esau hate us, cause we got the the blessing, and we hate Esau, cause he's wicked. You understand? We hate Esau for his wickedness, and Esau hate us for our righteousness, cause we got the blessing. And that that blessing just goes into the the second covenant, which is uh Hebrews chapter eight. I want to get it right now, but Hebrews chapter eight. It goes into um, how the, the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, the northern southern kingdom, will um, get the, the the first covenant, so to speak, written into their inward parts. Pretty much, they won't be able, we won't be able to sin anymore, which uh, we're not in the second covenant. We're under uh, grace right now. The first covenant is so not done away with. We still had to keep the commandments to the best of our ability, but let's just get the scriptures on it, man. We're not saved by the first covenant. We're saved by uh, 
Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are you saved through faith, and, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High. So we're not saved through the first covenant. We're saved through um, grace, faith, and works, because faith without works is dead. James 2 and 20, but wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? So you can have all the faith in the all the faith in the world. You can have the most faith in the world if you how by Shimei Shah, right? But guess what? If you don't got no works, man, it's worthless. So you gotta have faith, you gotta have works. You understand? But having faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shah and having works in Yahweh by Shimei Shah. You would want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, and the scriptures go to keeping the commandments in the New Testament. You see, I see you see a lot of Christians that don't uh, reverence um, the Old Testament because they're they're fucking idiots. They don't understand the scriptures at all. Before I go into that one, the Revelations. Let's go to. Uh, uh, Matthew, was it? Yep, Matthew 5 and 18, and this is from Yahweh Shah himself. You see, Christian, Christians say the law done away with. This is Matthew 5 and 18. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. <laughs> you understand. So, the law is not done away with. And Yahweh Shah said he didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. See, Christianity don't believe in the scriptures. Christianity, Christianity is um pretty much white supremacy. Matthew 5 and 17, think not that I'll come to destroy the law or the prophets. I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill Yahweh shot himself. And it's another one. And um, Revelations, I'm going to get where it talks about the Israelites that kept the commandments. Of the most high because you have still have to keep the commandments to the best of your ability you're not supposed to go out here smoking weed and sleeping with, with, with your neighbor's wife and, and all this madness getting tattoos and all everything you know what i'm saying being wicked uh, the revelations was it 22 and 14 revelations 22 and 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city and those gates the gates is um the twelve tribes of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is uh it's only um uh, let's just get it where it says like the gates are something like the twelve tribes of Israel or each each gate has like let's just get it, man. I'm trying to just remember how it goes, just go straight to it. Perfect. Revelations 21 to 12, and it had a wall, and had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So Christianity, Christianity won't dive into this shit. Or they'll, uh, Salaki for calling it that, but they won't, they won't dive into this, man. They not, they not going. And if they do, they going to butcher it. They going to say, oh, uh, it's, it's spiritually, is the, you understand? I can't even think of the madness. They would think of to get around something like this, man. Revelation 21 and 12. I'm going to reread it. And I had and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You understand? Because the kingdom of heaven, let's go to Daniel chapter 2, 43, I think. Hmm. What is it, Daniel? Where it says the kingdom of heaven is is only for the Israelites.
Daniel 2 and 44, In the days of these kings shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and a kingdom shall not be left to other people. So, let's reread that. In the days of these kings shall the God of Heaven, Yahweh, set up a kingdom, the kingdom of Heaven, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It's only for the Israelites. Christianity is uh, is through, it's sliced, it's diced, it's destroyed. Mormons, Catholics, and Christianity just is a branch off from uh, Catholics and, and Baptists is too. They're all pretty much Catholics and stuff like that. All false. Um, I mean, look look at their God, man. Leprosy. So-called white person. They said angels white, God white, Jesus white, the Israelites white, whatever. And, and they're not white. First, if, I'm talking about you Edomites right now. You're not white, you're red. You have pale translucent skin you're red is a white is a construct you know i seen it was like i think it was andrew tate i think it was andrew tate where um andrew tate said no 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was andrew tate but i think i saw somebody else say it too or they was with andrew tate and they were saying like if you're a so-called white person or a so-called black person. You know, that's like the main controversy on earth is so-called whites and so-called blacks, right? If you're a so-called white person or so-called black person from America, right, and you go to, you know, another country that's not the United States of America, and we go to those countries, they don't call you black. They don't call you white. They say, oh, if you're from America, they'll call you an American. And then Andrew Tate was like, oh, that's why they're trying to divide us. No, man. The reason why, first and foremost, the reason why it's not like that and other countries is because the United States of America was set up for the Edomites to try to reign. Well, they have been reigning supreme over so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's the whole main point of Babylon and Great, United States of America, to conquer the Israelites. That's why they have that divide of calling the so-called blacks, which means like evil and like filthy or whatever and then so-called white which is like superiority and, and pureness that's why they they made those claims in reality you edomites are the filth of the earth man like the scripture says and we're we're the righteous and you're the wicked and they don't that's why they they bring out anti-sim right right that's why that's why they call it hate because it is hate you're supposed to be hated you understand? You're supposed to be hating. There's nothing wrong with hate, but Christianity, you say love, 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 and all this other madness, man. It, it don't even make sense. Loving, overwhelming with love, you can't overwhelm nobody with love. Even even the Israel, even the Most High didn't even overwhelm us with love, man. So how the hell, you understand? Let's just go into the scriptures. Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. So, you know, overwhelming with, with love uh, is all love. That's, that's wickedness. That's wicked. You understand? That's an abomination that's going off. You're supposed to hate. You're supposed to love. You're supposed to hate. You're supposed to love, man. You, you gonna love wickedness? D doesn't the scripture say hate evil? Let's get that. You Edomites, starting with you Israelis, you Jewish, you, you, you the scum of the earth, you wicked. You control the earth and look at the state of the earth right now. Psalms 97 and 10, ye that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints and delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. You Edomites are wicked. You evil, wicked. It just goes into evil. Romans 9 and 13, man. The Most High hates you. So we supposed to hate you. And that's why they call it hate when you say anti-Sim, right? Because it is. They're not lying. If you notice, they never actually said that Kanye was lying. I never seen or, or Kyrie Irving. Kanye's a rapper, Kyrie's a NBA player for the Nets. They, they, I haven't seen nobody, all I've seen is them say, uh, make them apologize and 
offering them to go to the Holocaust Museum and all this madness, man. For starters, a lot of those numbers is lies, man. And another thing, the Israelites got it way worse than anybody on the planet Earth. And we still getting jacked up to this very day. Well, I seen a thing where it was like they estimated, uh, I forgot, it was in the hundreds of millions. Not hundreds of millions, it was like 150 million Native Americans, man, that was slaughtered in uh, the Americas by you Edomites. And you, you Israelis were slave owners, man. You funded the chains, you owned slaves, you bought slaves, you understand? The chains, the slaves, and the ships. Because you're Edomites. You know, difference from a uh, so-called Jewish person and a fucking Edomite in America, they're the same people, man. One is just on a higher, higher level than the other. They run the banks. They run the Hollywood. These, these famous uh, fashion brands. You understand? They own America. I think it was 1933 where, where, where they bought America. Literally, they bought America in like 19, the, the thir- 1930s. But they, they, you know, because America is a corporation. It's not really a country for real. It's not run like other countries because it was set up to oppress the Israelites. Kanye, Kyrie are, you know, doing something, but they they still they're still slaves to Esau, man. But you know, people on the bottom reverence Kyrie and Kanye on a higher level like idols because they got millions of dollars and they're famous worldwide. You know what I'm saying? And then people like us that you know, you know, some brothers may have some type of money, but we ain't, if you do, you ain't flying it around. You don't got no status with it. You know, you, you're in the shadows, so it, it doesn't count. But nonetheless, we're, we're like the, the poor. You understand? Because we're worms. Like the scripture says, fear not thy worm, Jacob. A worm is a defensive, defenseless creature. A worm has no way to fight back. It, ha- it has to hide in the dirt. And if it gets touched by a another organism it'll flick around you know squirm be harder to eat that's his defense mechanism squirm around with a soft squishy body and get burnt up in the sun if it stay on a pee yeah you know you ever seen the worms on a concrete man they make it to the dirt in time like in the summer or something they all burnt up man and defenseless but we're gonna be raised up through the spirit you know, spiritual power that's very uh, weighted on patiently by by the, by these by the brothers, sisters, and the truth. You know, the angels, Michael, Michael's gonna come down and protect us and guide us because it's gonna be it's gonna be madness. It's gonna be like even these movies. When you go into these movies <clears throat> of like these apocalyptic events and like and like uh. Alien invasion, you know, stuff like that. They don't even really show the real, like, movies are censored. <clears throat> movies are censored. Like, I've seen a lot of apocalyptic movies. You know, understand? I like it. I like that kind of stuff. And they are censored. You don't really see the, the madness like it's really going to be. And these movies still have certain elements that that are not uh, in the scriptures, you understand? Outside of the censorship. So what's coming down the pipe is going to be like all these disaster apocalyptic movies combined with no censorship plus an extra spice. Like, it's going to be that bad. It's going to be that bad. Like, we're going to need the Elohim, the, the angels. We're going to need spiritual power to survive what's coming. And everybody else is just going to get jacked up. It's going to be a, a, a world of pain. But I'm going to end that off right there. Shalom.